Hey guys, Victoria here and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm just going to be talking about how to balance all the subjects that you're taking. So one of the main reasons why I'm making this video today is because I got some comments from you guys saying that you don't know which subject to study. Like there are so many subjects and you're confused as to which one you should actually focus on and that leads to procrastination and you end up doing nothing. So to avoid that, I hope that this video can help in some way. So this works best if you're in Form 4 and you're still new to everything and you haven't started any subjects yet. So at that point, your level for every subject is like zero. Okay, you're not better at certain subjects, you're not worse at certain subjects, you're just zero. So what happened was at the beginning of Form 4 itself, I took some time to analyze and understand what the subjects were basically about because back then we had science and then it's branched into physics, biology and chemistry and before Form 4, we basically haven't done admats at all so it's a new exposure to admats. So I took a little bit of time to analyze what it's all about and the time constraints of each subject, meaning like which subject is more time consuming and needs more of my attention. I took some time to analyze that. So I took nine subjects. I took chemistry, biology, physics, at maths, modern maths, English, PM, moral, and also sejarah. So out of these nine subjects, I figured that there are four subjects that I would really need to spend my time on. So these four subjects are biology, chemistry, physics, and also sejarah. So the two other subjects which are at maths and modern maths are the subjects which I understand in class. Okay, when the teacher is teaching to me, I make sure that I pay full attention so that I do not have to spend extra time at all. And when the teacher assigns exercises, I will do it mostly in class. I will try to finish it in between classes when the teacher, one teacher leaves and the other teacher haven't entered yet. I would use that time to just finish up the exercises on modern maths and additional mathematics that I have. Because I know that the three science subjects and sejarah needs a lot of my time, so I don't have much time to lose or to spend on additional mathematics and modern mathematics, so I tried to do that. So I spent just a little bit of time doing those subjects when I was in class or I attend tuition for NMATS as well, but I don't use much of my time revising those subjects because I know that uh, those three science subjects and sejarah demands a lot of my time and attention. So this is why I put less of time on maths and modern maths. And then for English and BM, all you have to do is to read a lot of essay plans, read essays, um, read BM essays, pay attention to your teacher in class, all that stuff. So if you are like me and if you take the same nine subjects that I do, then I would say that for me, the four subjects that needed my attention were these four, three science subjects and one sejarah. And I really dedicated my time to studying these four subjects. And within these four different subjects itself, um, each subject requires different time. I would say that biology is the most time consuming one because you have to memorize, 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 understand a little bit and then just memorize and apply. And then chemistry is the second time consuming because chemistry is like a balance of both physics and biology. It requires understanding but it also requires a little bit of memorizing so that's chemistry number two. And then the third subject is just physics. So physics require a lot of understanding and working out things because a huge part of physics is just maths. So I spent less time revising physics compared to biology and chemistry. And then Sejarah is just the same as biology, everything is memorizing, so as for the time that I spend for these four subjects, biology and sejarah are way out there, they are the same, and then chemistry, and then physics. So just understand that if you spend less time revising physics and chemistry, it just means that you have to pay more attention to your teacher when they are teaching you in class. because. Those subjects are all about understanding. Same for admats. Like I don't spend much time revising admats on my own, but I make sure that I am present in class. This method of mine works well if you are just starting from four and everything is like zero zero zero. But if you have started from four already, or if you are in form five and you know which 
want your weakness is because maybe you're getting A A and then maybe there's a B plus somewhere or maybe there's a C somewhere. So be sure to focus on your weakness while not neglecting the others. So you can't just focus on, let's say you got C for admats, you can't just do admats all day long and then not bother about the other subjects because chances are the grades of those subjects will drop. So it is important to dedicate more time to admats, but then also not neglect other subjects. And one way to do that is just to maximize your efficiency, find the right way to study, and also try to maximize the use of your time in class. Like sometimes teachers are absent and then there'll be a free period in class and it really depends on how you want to use that time. You can spend that time doing admats, you can spend that time talking. So yeah, and in between lessons, when one teacher leaves and the other teacher enters, that is the time when you can do some practice questions as well. So it really isn't about not having enough time. It is the fact that you don't make the most out of the time that you have. Instead of having the mindset that you don't have enough time, just try to make the most out of the time that you do have. And I can guarantee you that it will make big changes. Like if you dedicate free time in your class to just add maths, then you can definitely see an improvement in admats and it is also a good idea to do admats in class because if you don't understand something you can ask your friends directly you can ask someone who is better at admats and that someone can explain it to you if you're doing admats at home and then your parents don't even remember how to do admats so you have no one to turn to but if you're doing it in school you can directly turn to your friends and I'm sure that they are more than willing to help you. If you're good in admats, please be willing to help others because the best way to learn is to teach others. When you teach others, you learn even better. So my solution to not knowing which subject to focus on is simply to analyze your exam marks from the last exam. So analyze your exam marks, you will know where your weakness is, where your strengths are and try to figure it out from there. But if you're in Form 4, then be sure to analyze which subjects need more of your time so that you can dedicate more of your time to that subject without affecting other subjects. And I also feel like this is one of those things where you have to spend some time figuring it out for yourself because different people have different strengths. Some people are really good at maths so they don't really need to spend much time revising maths. Some people are really good at languages so they don't need to spend much time revising that. Some people are good at memorizing so it goes in, the information goes in very easily. So try to discover your strengths, make the most out of your strengths, learn about your weaknesses, try to fix your weakness by asking help from other people and overall don't neglect any one subject because you want your grades to be nice and like all AAA not like 1B and suddenly 1C. So balancing is really important. So yeah, I hope that you guys have learned something from this spontaneous video of mine. I know that a lot of you guys have questions when it comes to balancing the time between each of the subjects that you take. But I hope this solves some of your questions. And if you have more questions, then you can comment them down below and I'll try my best to answer all of them. Anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.